After Brienne kills Stannis, she and Podrick find Sansa and Theon Greyjoy just as they are surrounded by Bolton soldiers and Ramsay's hounds in the woods. Podrick, his fighting skills having improved under Brienne's tutelage, fights and kills a Bolton soldier, but falls off his horse in the process. He then challenges another Bolton soldier and is knocked to the ground, but is saved by Theon, who stabs the soldier from behind. He and Theon witness Brienne pledge her service to Sansa, with Podrick guiding Sansa through her part of the pledge. After resting, Podrick and Brienne decide to escort Sansa to meet her half-brother Jon Snow at Castle Black. Theon however decides to part company and return to his family in the Iron Islands, where he discovers that his father has died. Podrick, Brienne and Sansa eventually reach Castle Black, where he witnesses Sansa's reunion with Jon. Podrick later shares a meal with Jon, Brienne, Sansa, Edison Tollett, and Tormund, during which Jon receives a letter from Ramsay Bolton, demanding Sansa back on threat of harming him and his friends. When Jon and Sansa decide to fight Ramsay instead of accepting his terms, Podrick accompanies Brienne to the Riverlands to recruit Sansa's great-uncle Brynden Tully and the rebuilt Tully army to aid them. While Brienne is talking to Jaime in his tent, Podrick waits outside, where he is restrained from behind by Bronn and put in a playful headlock. He is soon released by the sellsword, who tells him he is surprised Podrick is still alive, and notes that he is still a squire. Bronn asks him if he thinks Brienne and Jaime are having sex inside the tent. After Podrick denies it, Bronn asks Podrick if he has had sex with Brienne, which he also denies. He asks Podrick if he knows how to fight. Podrick says he does, stating that Brienne has been teaching him, so Bronn tests him. When he gets Podrick into a stance, he slaps him and corrects him. After the siege ends, Brienne and Podrick are last seen escaping Riverrun in a boat. 